Hi, and thanks for watching. This video will provide an overview of how to set up acknowledgement emails for web form transactions in Alltrue. The acknowledgement email is the transaction confirmation message sent by Alltrue when the user submits an Alltrue web form. Instead of a printed receipt that you'd receive when visiting in person, you'll be sent an email. To access the configuration of web forms, click on Web. There are two types of acknowledgement emails that can be generated from Alltrue. The first is the default acknowledgement email, and the second is a web form specific acknowledgement email. The default acknowledgement email is the transaction confirmation email that is sent if we do not have a form specific email assigned for a form. We configure the form specific acknowledgement email for each individual web form we create. Both of these email types have access to merge fields and an HTML content editor that we can use to personalize the email with details from the transaction. The advantage of form-specific emails is that we can customize the text portion of the email to match the transaction. For example, we can include text thanking people for an online donation. If the user purchased tickets, we can provide information on printing out tickets and details of the event and any other arrival information such as parking, directions, etc. The default acknowledgement email is created automatically in Alltrue but does require some final configuration before it can be sent. Click on Default Acknowledgement Email. Please note that the first time you open this window, it may load slowly. It'll load faster the next time you open it. There are three key sections we can edit. The topmost section identifies the fields where you must set values for subject, from address, and from name in order to save and use the email. The subject field is the subject line for the email. Remember, for the default acknowledgement email, this subject line is the same regardless of the type of transaction, a donation, ticket purchase, event registration, or membership. We recommend mentioning the name of your institution in the subject line and identifying that this email is a transaction confirmation. This way, the email is easily identified in the recipient's inbox. The from address field is the from email address you want to display for this email message. The from name field is the name that's displayed as the email sender in the recipient's inbox. There are some additional optional but still important fields that you can adjust by clicking on the More Options link in the lower right corner of this particular area. Add a reply address if someone presses reply in their email software and you'd like this to go to a different address than what you added in the from field. Alltrue cannot verify if a person has misspelled their email address, which would prevent their email from being delivered, but misspelled emails will bounce. With the Failures field, you can have Alltrue send an email notification that the acknowledgement email did not reach the user's mailbox. The toolbar allows you to add content, such as images, and merge fields, and format the content. Please see the video using the letter editor that explains the functionality of the toolbar and the message area. The lowermost area displays the email message and is the space where you can edit the content. The email is provided with default content which can be used with some minor tweaks to personalize the wording or replaced entirely. Once you're done editing, click Save. Next, we'll look at form-specific acknowledgement emails. We'll use event registration forms as an example. Click Manage Event Registration Forms. Use the filters to display the events for which you want to set up an acknowledgement email. Before we make a particular email active, we need to understand the priorities for triggering emails. There are three priority levels. The first priority is given to the email connected to the specific form submitted. So, for example, if an event registration is purchased, Ultra will give priority to the email connected to this particular program event. If this particular event's email is not activated, Ultra will then check and see if the acknowledgement email has been set for the program that is the source of the event. If this program form email is not activated, Ultra will then send the default acknowledgement email. This priority model also applies to donations and membership web forms. Click on the expand icon next to the name of the event and then click Acknowledgement Email. These emails must first be added to the system or edited and then enabled in order to be sent. Click Edit. The email fields are pre-populated based on the values entered into the default acknowledgement email and the name of the scheduled program. You can edit these to be appropriate for this specific form. 
So for example, the from email address can relate to the office or staff person managing this event and the subject line can directly reference the event. The features for setting up this form specific email are exactly the same as they were for the default acknowledgement email. Custom acknowledgement emails are not predefined, so you'll see a blank editor when you create a new email. You can build an email from scratch, or copy and paste the content from another email, and edit as necessary. Once you're done, click Save. Next, expand acknowledgement email, and click on Enable. The window closes and we can see the icon displaying that the acknowledgement email is activated. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.